All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha HaKodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the teacher Ruel. Peace, love, citations to the hopeful elect, start with 144,000, rest of the one third, from the brother Hamayan from the Great Millstone, Columbia, Georgia camp. And I brought the desire to be an edifying lesson on the night. Um, got a few precepts I got lined up, some quick through the spirit. And what inspired me was um, this quote by um, Bruce Lee. And it says, I got it highlighted. It says, do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. And so lucky for the noise in the back. My son right here. This TV. Um, but I got this word. It's lucky. Straight because Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13 it says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Now, this straight gate is a position of difficulty, right? A position of difficulty that we must endure if we're part of the Lord's elect. The hopeful elect, man, we're going to endure if we're part of the Lord's remnant, you know, but we have to endure because we're not saved yet. You know, we have to undergo a lot of uncomfortable things, man. We got to go through things, losing people, losing jobs, losing people, getting tried, all types of conditions. But the scripture say in second edge of seven, just to quote, um, this is the condition of the battle, man. But um, this is the definition in the Edmond line of straight. It says narrow, confined space or place, especially narrow paths or passage between hills in reference to a narrow passage of water connecting two large bodies. Um, the point is right here. Difficulty, man. Difficulty. A position of difficulty, man. See, that's what it's, that's what it's about, man. So Matthew 7 and 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it because everybody is not going to hold on to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Because first and foremost, the Lord has it where well, remnant is going to return, be delivered, you know, out of the nation of Israel. He's dealing with an elect on this side, man, his remnant. But it's very important for you to understand that um, we got to go through this straight gate, a position of difficulty, and people don't want to suffer. And that's why I'm making this lesson, man, because we have to suffer. My son, if thou come and serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You got to make it, you got to get ready for this, you know. <clears throat> but we, we, we have to understand we can't do this without our Lord, man. We need Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah to endure. Once again, do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. And that word endure goes to make hard, man. You know? The next precept, um, 1 Timothy. First Timothy 1 and 5. Now, the end of the commandment is charity <clears throat> out of a pure heart. A pure mind, man, being sincere and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned. I'm reading this in NLT. The purpose of my instruction is that all believers would be filled with love that comes from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and genuine faith. Let's go to this word unfeigned. Strong's G505 Anupakritas. Anupakritas. Anupakritas, it says, unfeigned, undisguised, sincere. So we got to be sincere, man. We got to be sincere. We need that faith that's not, you know, causing you to be a hypocrite, you know, because inside of this fight, you're going to go through things, but you're going to go through a lot of things. And everybody has their portion, you know, according to your lot, you know, your measure. But we got to have faith that's unfeigned. We need faith that's sincere.
Because why? That's pleasing Yahweh by Hashem al Shai. That's showing the Lord that you a fighter. That's showing the Lord that, guess what? you going to endure to the end. That's showing the Lord that's what? That's Sirach 4 and 28. Scribe for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. You know? Now, let's go to, like I said, with some quick through the spirit. I ended off with Psalms 55. Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. It says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Now, let's get a few words in here real quick. Let's go into that word burden. Strong's H, 3053. You have. You have. It says burden lot, which is given. Let's look it up. Um, a load, typically a heavy one, the main theme or gist of a speech book. Low responsibility. Hey, they cast our responsibilities upon the Lord. Our burden, man, that load. You know, we need you. We need you. How about your mouth, child? You need your Lord, man. If you think you can do this without the Lord, you you bugging out, man. It says, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Now, let's go into sustain. It says, to seize, contain, measure. To sustain, maintain, contain, to, to, to sustain, to support. And he shall sustain thee. He says support, man. The Lord gonna support us, man. Down here, it says contain, feed, sustain, abide, nourish, hold, receive, bear. So you get the point, you know. The Lord gonna provide, man. We just got the Endure, keep trucking, don't look back. You know, it's a it's a rocky road, but it's 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 bearable, man. You, you gotta bear it, you gotta you gotta bear your cross, you gotta endure to the end. You know, that's why we gotta pray. We must believe and pray. It's impossible to please him without faith, man. So Abarazadi was an edifying lesson. <clears throat> Some quick through the spirit, Abarazadi. I would like to close out by giving our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachah HaKodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that teach 